Welcome to Darth Hawk Gaming. My indie studio, CWDI Games, is releasing Doom Roller July 1st. So the release date's been changed to July 1st. Doom Roller is a fast-paced physics arcade game. It guides your ball through the level of winning obstacles and the dreaded orbs of doom. That's these glowy things that follow you around. And they want to touch you so they can suck out your soul. And so anyway, so you collect all the gems within before the timer runs out to go to the next level. There's an evil twist, though, because my name is Darth Hawk. I'm a Sith, I'm a Sith Lord. Of course, it's going to be an evil twist. Every time you collect a gem, your time decreases by five seconds instantly. But you have to collect all the gems before the timer runs out to go to the next level. Meanwhile, the orbs of doom want to suck out your soul. Yeah. Now, the obstacles in the level, uh, some of like there are ramps you can go up that will shoot you into the air. Um... <clears throat> there are uh, also, you know, there's obstacles that you touch won't do anything. You'll they'll just block your path. There's other also other obstacles, these things, that if you touch will bounce you back. Okay, so what if, you know, you're going through a choke point, trying to get to the last gem in the level, and there are, you know, these bouncers on the sides. You're on a narrow choke point, and you accidentally touch one of them, and it bounces you back into the orb of doom that's chasing you. Yeah, then you have to start the level over again. Ah, uh, yeah, just chaos and it's fun. So and then and then these glowy things right here that um <clears throat> like little cloud glowy things, uh different colors, they are accelerators that shoot you off in a direction when you come into contact with them. Uh so you know, they could be a help or a hindrance and the direction they shoot you off on they accelerate you in is uh, dependent on their color, and you're figured out. Uh, now, I'm also going to include a quick reference guide, uh, mainly for uh, helping you to design your own levels, because you can design your own levels in this game, so it may explains explains what everything is. But yeah, this is the uh, this generates the level for the trailer, in the game trailer. So you can make the level as cluttered or as sparsely populated as you want. And uh, you notice in the game trailer, the level's a strip. It's because of the of the shape here, so it's going to be either a, it's just going to be square or rectangle, okay, um, but yeah. So and you you tell it that each uh, prefab is assigned to a character, and so in the game read there'll be several text files, you know, default levels after you buy and install the game. It would just read the text level, te yeah, the text file and generate the level from it. And off you go. And so you'll you'll be able to design your own levels, um, share them with your friends. And this game is being made with the Flax engine. Okay, so the Flax engine, um it's it's a really good engine. Um it needs more attention. Um <clears throat> but yeah, so you can program in C sharp and C plus plus and uh, visual scripting as well and it's cross-platform so you can program for you can make it you can release games or projects for windows linux android apple platforms and consoles ps4 ps5 switch xbox um now you don't have to sign in you can just you can use the engine without signing in but if you're going to release for consoles you are going to have to get and get like have some sort of proof you have an agreement to release the uh, for a console um, and then you contact the Flax engine and say, hey, I have this agreement. And then you have to set up an account. And when you sign in, you will be able to have access to whatever console or consoles that you're going to release the game on. Um, but yeah, if you're developing for these, I don't think you need to sign in. Uh, but you can create a login if you want, but you don't need to. Um, and uh, so large world, 64-bit position for world coordinates. Uh, behavior trees, yeah, let's look at behavior trees. So behavior trees, the Flax engine has behavior trees built in um, to the engine. And uh, so yeah, it's, so you can easily set up your own AI, um, complex AI if you want. Um, and this has documentation right here on the website. This gets you going on that. And so like you could download the Flax engine today and start, start doing this today. Uh, navigation is built nef, 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 nav mesh navigation <laughs> is built, built into the engine and this shows you how to do that um, let's see there are let's uh, vehicles they even have something that gets you started with vehicles <clears throat> okay <clears throat> uh, 
and they have uh, they let they encourage you to copy this code and they use it and they just you know so a lot so th this is not a game that's that's in this is not an engine that's in early development this is it's already it's already uh, it's approaching version 2.0 it's already like 1.8.2 i believe um so yeah uh it's and it's really good to work with uh really good engine to use very simple very easy just like unity is easy too but this is another easy game engine to use 